Hello everyone, it's been ages. It's been really long since I created a tutorial for you guys. So today, without wasting much time, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to achieve this particular design. I saw it somewhere on Instagram and I've forgotten the person that posted it, but I just decided to give it a try with Canva. I think it must have been achieved with Photoshop. I don't know for sure, but here we are and it looks really good on Canva. So I'm just going to show you how I was able to come about this design. So the dimensions used was 5,000 by 3, 500 at 500. So you can just go ahead and create it. It is a custom size, so you know. Now I'm going to add page and this is my canvas. It's blank. Okay, it's blank. Get out of here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll come over to photos and type the search word road. So this is the image I used. I'm going to drag it here so we have our image right where we want it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go over to frames, click on see all, and then just search for the alphabets I need. First is L. I didn't use the big ones, the stylish ones. I simply used this, this is L. Next thing, I. If you notice, this is under frames. So I'm going to use this. So it's the right one. Then over to letter G, use this one. Then over to letter H. Use this one, and the last will be later. See, these are all later frames, and I use the ones that are slim. So, this is it we have L I G H T to be just reduce it a bit. So, there you have it we have L I G H T letter frames. Now the next thing we are going to do is place this photo, this um, background photo. I'm going to place it inside the frames, every single one of them. So I'm going to drag this one first into the frame, click on it, and I'm just going to make sure that it aligns with... So that's it. We have our L is on point. Moving on to later I, drag it. You have to carefully measure it. So I is okay. Now moving on to G, just drag it. Just please. Pay close attention to the way I am monitoring it. Okay, G is okay. Is it? Mm -hmm. It has to be perfect. It has to be. It has to be. So we have G. It's perfect. Then we go over to letter H. We're going to do the same thing for every single one of them. So, yes, perfect. So, later T is our last one. Do the same thing for later T.
So the frames are hidden here. It just looks like um, it's one image, but no, the frames are inside. So we are going to change this. I'm going to change the color to a black, then bring this image back here and reduce the transparency to a 50. If my voice is loud enough. So we have L I G H T and the background, but that is not all. We are not done. So I'm going to copy this, create a new page, paste it here, change the color to white. Change the color of this to white. Wonder why it's not changing. Okay. Yeah. So we have L I G H T light, and we have it here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download this as a transparent. Um, I know you can't see it, but it's there. I'm going to download this page, page three, as a transparent background. And yep. So while we wait, okay, it's has successfully downloaded so i'm going to go over to upload not this one here is it and upload it back into canva and there yeah, it's done this is it so bring it here and i'm going to adjust it Adjust it. Make sure everything is good and in place. So we have it. Take it all the way to the back and go over to edit. Blow. I'm going to increase the blow. Just five would do. And increase the brightness. And also increase the contrast to five. We are still not done. I would do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate this. Duplicate this. And Duplicate this, go over to shadows, click on backdrop, select this backdrop option, wait for it to come. You notice you can see it. Increase the vertical angle to a hundred and the horizontal I'll take it to zero. I want to change this color to white. This is it. This is our light. Increase the blow to 20 and yes. So now we're going to apply this. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take this all the way to the back, but let's apply it first. We are going to apply this. It's still showing saving for so I cannot continue. We are good. Now, take this all the way to the back. And then go back to flip and select vertical. Okay, now that we have this, I'm going to draw this, bring this down. 
bring it down and then crop this first part out and that's it it's beautiful and simple and i would love to see you try this really looking good with canva so this is it this is the result please try it and if you found this tutorial helpful please just let me know in the comment section and you can like this video if you learned something new my name remains kalechi don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel bye bye for now and thank you